Climate change is an increasingly controversial subject, with many still divided as to how much emphasis should be placed on acting against it now. For the European People's Party, though, it has always been a priority. On the 14th of September 2010, they organized a conference entitled Fighting Climate Change, a wish list for Cancun, where the next United Nations Conference on Climate Change will take place at the end of November. I asked the speakers what was on their wish list. Well, if I could wish totally freely, I would hope that we could just get everything done and get the international agreement done. But no parties have really moved, not in Washington, not in Beijing, not in many places. So that is probably not very realistic. So what I hope we can get is an ambitious set of decisions. A decision on forestry, a decision on adaptation, a decision on technology. The, the main thing that needs to be done in, in Cancun is to restore trust between developing countries and developed countries. Because so much of that trust has been lost in Copenhagen, very unfortunately. I think for the PPE it's very important that our strategy is not to punish any country. Our strategy is to have more efficiency policy, sustainability policy, and keep the living standards on the same level or better. If we explain this new philosophy, then the people will go with us. And that is my approach for Cancun. Following the disappointing outcome of the Copenhagen summit last year, where leaders failed to reach a legally binding agreement, I asked Commissioner Hedegaard how she intended to initiate global action, especially with many of the continents divided in their approach. The only thing we can is to try to push and push and push, and then Europe can prove by its own example, yes, you can have growth, and at the same time, be a very energy efficient region. But I think what is very important is also to reach out to, to citizens and tell them this is not about us going, you know, to back to the Stone Ages and not being able to live the good life. If we act now, then we can preserve our way of lifestyle. We can share it with the billions who have not had a share in the, the good things yet. At the same time, she highlighted the need for Europe to lead this fight. We should take care not to be too complacent because it might be that the Chinese are very slow around the negotiation table, but I tell you, they are not in reality. They are just moving in wind and solar in energy efficient solutions, and we should take care that we are still the front runners internationally, and therefore we should be ambitious. Professor Van Epezela finished by reminding us of the impacts of climate change. The, the uh, visibility of the influence of climate change will will increase, will only increase in the coming decades. So if you are only concerned about tomorrow morning, then it doesn't matter. If you're concerned about your children and your small children, then climate change is one of the very important issues of the, uh, of, of the coming times. This conference certainly achieves solidarity on a political level. The EPP stands firmly behind the EU with its wish list to maintain international leadership on climate change and to fight for a global agreement in Cancun. Thank you for joining us this time and we look forward to seeing you again soon.